Time to start on the interior. The door panels are very nice on both sides. A little bit of uh, fade out, a little dry across the top here. Let me see if I can clean that up and kind of recondition that a little bit with something. Dash is pretty nice. Steering wheel's good. The dash pad, got a crack right here and another little crack over there. I'm gonna see if I can repair that and make it look half decent. If not, I can replace this whole cover. This is actually not stock. That's a cover that the previous owner had put on there. So they do make those. Um, the seat, it's not quite as firm as I'd like it because when you sit on there and you get up, the foam doesn't cut, you know, come back up as quickly as it should. So I suspect it's kind of deteriorated a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is just get a one inch piece of upholstery foam, kind of a dense foam, and put underneath this cover. Same thing on the back, only I'll probably use half inch thick there. And then you can see there's a little damage to the seat upholstery right there. So what I'm gonna do when I'm down there buying the foam at the automotive upholstery, upholstery shop, I'm gonna see if I can find some vinyl that matches that color and that texture. And then I will pull this, when the seat cover's off, I'll take the stitching loose around here and sew in a new panel just right here. Because the rest of the seat cover is all very nice. That's the original, original cover. I like the style of it. So I'd like to save it if I can just replace this piece right here. Uh, let's see, what else? I got a new brake pedal pad for it. That one there's not really worn. A little bit on the corner there, but not bad. But I've got a new one to put on there. And then I've got uh, a new carpet. I'm going to take this rubber mat out of here put some sound deadening uh, material on the floorboard, and then I've got carpet that I'm gonna go on, uh, on there to replace that rubber mat. So the first thing I'll do is pull that seat out of there. There we go. There's a little screw right there. Down below here, Looks like one, one bolt will turn that loose and I'll go get the other side off and the seat back will come out no problem. Looks like to get the seat bottom out I've just got four bolts. There's one on the front on each side and if I slide the seat forward Got one in the back on each side right there. And I've got to take the seat belts loose here and over here. Okay, time to stick this back down here. I made these little cutouts here to match the cutouts in the existing foam because that's where the seat belts go. So I'm just going to tuck this right in here into the framework. Now I've got some baby powder I'm going to sprinkle on the inside here. This will just kind of add a layer of lubrication so this seat cover can kind of slide around. Won't be getting stuck to that foam. Okay, I've got it all the way around to here on both sides. Now I just got to get this part pulled up here. Let's 
Okay, ready to do the seat back. I've got this half inch thick foam for that. I'm just going to use some of this spray adhesive for this. Okay, this side here, this plastic just gets pulled up and it kind of hooks in place there. Same thing down on the end here. But across the back here, I've got to take some of these little hog rings and these hog ring pliers, kind of like that. And then there's a wire that goes in this back of the upholstery here, so I've got to Pull that down there tight, get it hooked in the wire, hooked in there, and pinch it, and then it'll hold in place right there. Hey, feels good. So the seats are ready to go back in, but the truck's not ready for them yet because I got to go put the new carpet in there. Okay, I've got this all, floors all cleaned up. So I'm ready to put the sound deadening mat down. Got these sheets here, it's 80,000 thick. It's got a rubberized backing with a adhesive on there. So you just peel it off and stick it down. Got a little roller, let's roll it out. I've pulled all of the interior plastic and trim pieces off. There's the seats, I already showed you what I did to them. And I'm gonna be cleaning these up real good. I've already uh, washed them up with soap and water and hosed them off. Uh, a couple of them need some repair. Uh, this piece here has got a little crack right here that I'm gonna try to epoxy back in shape and then put some stuff on the backside here to reinforce it. And they all need to be cleaned up a little better. Uh, this piece, that uh, metal piece that goes over the uh, underneath the top of the windshield. I just repainted it. I've got some of this Sim color coat that's specifically for interior trim, vinyl and plastic and what have you. It's called Firethorn Red and it uh, works pretty good and it's a pretty uh, close color match. So I may go ahead and paint uh, several of these plastic parts on the door panels up top of here. You can see it's kind of faded out. I was going to uh, maybe touch up that, but I'm thinking I might just uh, spray all of these door panels. They all match then, they all look like new then. 
Um, these pieces here, the seat belt, these go up in the cab corners up behind the seat and a couple of them, or one of them, kind of deformed a little bit across this top edge, supposed to be straight across here. You can see it's kind of bowed in. So I'm going to take my heat gun and heat this up and pull it out and let it cool, hold it in place and let it cool to kind of straighten this up a little bit. And uh, then I'll probably paint those. So I've got a little bit of repair work to do on some of these pieces, get them cleaned up real nice. And I'll use some adhesion promoter on there before I spray the paint on, then it'll stick really good. And that paint's a high quality stuff. I've used it before. It seems to stay on really good, doesn't scratch through very easily. On the door panels, uh, these little side window wipers, I've got brand new ones for the uh, outer or the, for the inner and the outer and as well as the channel that goes up around the window. The old stuff's kind of getting a little stiff, rigid, so I've got some fresh stuff to put on there. These are the original door seals. They're still pretty flexible, so I'm just gonna clean them up real good. So that's what I'll be doing now, is getting all these interior parts ready to go back in. This is a brand new dash cover. There's the dash under there. And uh, this is by Coverlay. I was gonna use the old one. It had a couple of little cracks in it, kinda, I guess, right through here, and another one over here, and I was gonna try and maybe put something in there and respray that, but I decided just to get a new cover, the old covers. You know, once they crack, it means they're getting kind of brittle, so got a new dash cover for it. Okay, I'm going to heat it up right all along through here, inside and out. Got to be careful. You hold the heat gun too long on it, it starts to melt on you. So you just want to get it nice and warm. So it becomes pretty flexible, and you can pull it out hold it till it cools Okay, it's getting pretty good. Okay, I think that's gonna be hot enough. I'm just gonna kind of pull it and let it cool and then it'll flex back a little bit. Should be just right. Okay, that looks real good. If you look up and down this side now, through here, nice and straight. Well, let me show you what I did. I painted a couple of these parts and it looks so nice and I wanted all the colors to match on all the parts. So I went ahead and painted every bit of this interior plastic and trim parts. And it turned out really nice. What I did is I scrubbed them real good with uh, soap and water and then I used some of this adhesion promoter on them. That kind of leaves a eats into the plastic a little bit, and leaves a nice, slightly tacky film. So when that paint goes on, really sticks nice.
these are the little vents for the air conditioner and heater. And if you, if you look at it, I don't know if you can see well enough or not, but it's got a little silver, maybe you can see it there, a little silver uh, trim around the outside edge. It's just painted on. And some of that's coming off. So one way to touch that up that's fairly easy is with a silver metallic Sharpie. Yeah, that's all there is to it. You can see it looks pretty good. Okay, before I put this big piece of trim on here, I've taken the screws off from around this plastic lens here. And I'm gonna clean this real good inside and out. I've got this brush, it's kind of a real soft, flexible little brush. And I'm gonna clean all these surfaces inside here where my warning lights, turn signal lights, and what have you are. I've got my vacuum cleaner, so I'm gonna put that on, and so then as I dust, the dust will get sucked right in there. All these needles on the temperature, fuel, oil pressure gauge, what have you, speedometer, they're supposed to be from the factory they were uh, a, a bright orange, now they've all faded out to white. So I'm going to see if I can take some orange paint and touch those up a little bit. What I've got is some of this one-shot sign painter's lettering enamel, and it's just orange. And I put a few, a couple drops on the top of this, on this Cool Whip, inside of this Cool Whip lid. Got a little brush here. and Also put a little bit of, a drop of paint thinner to thin it just a little bit. Now, I got me a little piece of paper. I'm going to try and slide right in here behind the needle, like that. So if I happen to come off of the needle I'm not going to be touching the background area see if I can make this work Not bad. Hey, that looks good. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing for all of them. Now, do the same thing on that speedometer.
Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, take a look at that. That looks pretty nice, huh? This piece cleaned up real nice. I used some plastic polish on it. Okay, I'm ready to put my cover lay dash cover on. And I've got some seal bond silicon adhesive that they give you with it. And they tell you to put a little bead all the way around the perimeter, around these vent openings. So I'm just following directions. I'm not gonna get too close to the edge because I don't want to squish it out. And then you're supposed to take some cardboard and push this in and wedge it down there. So that's what, what I'm doing. All right, now I'm just going to let it set for a while till tomorrow. You can see the how I've got a, some cardboard wrapped with some rags so I don't scratch the dash panel wedged in there. Okay, I got my staples stuck through here. Now, see if I can get them in these holes here. Here it is all done. I've got to apologize because I lost some of my video somehow. So you didn't get to see me removing the rubber floor mat or installing the carpet. Or putting the door panels back on the doors. But hopefully there's enough video to show you what I did to the thing couple of tricks. I didn't show this uh, new piece of material getting stitched in right here either. Lost that somehow. All the metal parts of the original paint on it. All I did was clean it and polish it up. Didn't repaint any of the metal parts.